we're, we're disappointed with uh, with the outcome and uh, very proud of the way our guys played tonight and felt we had a great opportunity at the end when we tied it up tied it up four four and you know we had been facing off well and they uh, they won that last face off and got the last possession and um, you know just uh, they made a play and, and pulled it out at the end so while we're disappointed we're proud of our effort and uh, we'll learn from it and move on to Notre Dame next week. Coach, the, you talked a lot about the effort. It's obvious, and I know that you don't like to hear any moral victories. However, to be able to play with the number one team in the nation, pretty much eyeball to eyeball, what does it say about the program and strategy you've made? Well, I think it's shown that we've grown. You know, the, I know uh, Brian, when he was a freshman here, now he's a senior, we went up to Notre Dame and got, or excuse me, went up to Syracuse and got beat up pretty bad up there. And uh, I told the guys in the locker room after that game that, hey, our goal is to, to get to where we can compete with Syracuse. And, uh, we knew the Big East was coming and uh, that you know, Brian's class would be the one that would uh, kind of lead us you know, to try to narrow that gap. And you know, last year we felt we narrowed the gap even though the score wasn't so indicative of that. But you know, tonight at our home field finally to get to play him at home in front of a great crowd, uh, you know, I think uh, I was really, you know, I, think, I think we're a pretty good team. How much of a boost would the atmosphere give you to the least? I think probably ask the players. I, I don't know. I, for me, it didn't do anything, but I'm sure for the players it was pretty I don't know, it was pretty cool just finally seeing people on the other side of the stadium for once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brian, just describe, I mean, you know, it seemed like in the second half Syracuse kind of said, hey, we don't want, we don't want to, this guy to be covering the ball. So it seemed like as soon as you started to come out, all more the midfield, JoJo or wherever, he was, he was dishing. They wanted you on the other side of the field. I think when you get into that one minute situation, they have no choice. They have to give to their best carrier. You're your team's best cover guy. Just kind of describe uh, what goes through your mind as that play starts and then that whole sequence. Um, I mean, I, you know, down by a goal, a minute and 17 seconds left, you know you have to make a play. So it's all guts at that point, you know. The guy's carrying as best he can. I'm trying to take the ball as best I can. Uh, fortunately, I won that battle um, at that time. And fortunately, I scored again now, so. Yeah, can, can you, uh, you not only win the battle, but now, I mean, I'm sure that they were told if you're going to lose the ball, don't give up transition. You not only win the battle, now you've got transition. Uh, you know, just the range of emotions from carrying the ball down the field, beating Kevin, and then, you know, six seconds left, it's back the other way. Yeah, it's two extremes, you know. Um, it's about as pumped as could be. You know, you start looking at overtime with 57 seconds left, and, uh, came up six seconds short, it's about, you know, as low as it goes from your high to as low as you can get, so it's tough. Coach, throughout much of the game today, it seemed like every time the Syracuse, you know, attack would, would kind of go towards goal, you guys would just be there to poke and prod and just kind of disrupt as much as possible. Did you want to come in and kind of establish a physical tone tonight? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we, we didn't really do much different uh, in preparation from the standpoint of overall team defense six on six. Uh, we've really uh, adopted a very aggressive philosophy that we're going to, you know, we're going to you know, slide early and we're going to recover and we're going to try to speed things up on teams. And, uh, and so, you know, and if you don't do that against the Syracuse, they will, uh, you know, they, I think they'll, you know, they're very, very aggressive on the offensive end. You know, they're very effective if, if you sit back. So we tried to be aggressive and our guys did a, you know, a great job of, uh, of first slides, second slides. And I thought, you know, you, only, you give up five goals to Syracuse. Uh, you got to be pretty happy with how your defense played. As a result of that, do you think you guys dictated tempo for most of the game tonight? I don't know. I mean, I think they, you know, I think it was, you know, it was a 5 4 game, but it's, I don't think it was a slow game. Uh, you know, it was up and down the field a lot. I think you had a couple goalies who uh, played really well. And uh, it was a little sloppy at times, but I think that was due to, you know, I think two very good defenses. And I think the best, the best takeaway, I don't know how many he had today, six or seven probably, um, putting the ball on the ground and, and uh, going up and down the field. So. But, you know, I, five, five goals, I'm, I'm very happy with, with how that worked out. For the offensive guys, how, how good, you know, Syracuse obviously has a reputation for being a great offensive team over the years, but in the last several years, they've been pretty good defensively. How good are they defensively? Uh, they were, they were really good. They were uh, big, physical. Um, I thought we had some good looks against them, but we just didn't cash in on those looks. Also, I thought uh, their goalie played pretty good. I mean, we had a lot of good like opportunities right on the crease, and he was just coming up with some big saves. Any more questions? All right, thank you.